All right, what is up, guys? Feverix HD today, and um, today I'm gonna be showing you on how to take apart your Xbox 360, and then a video on how to put it back together and on how to hot swap. All right, so first off, you're gonna need three screwdrivers. You're gonna need a flat head, a Phillips, and this is gonna be a Torx. Make sure it's 8 bit. All right, now first thing, like always, take off the hard drive. Just press the button and pull up, and then it's gonna be faceplate. Now take apart the faceplate or take it off. You're just gonna pry up on it. It's just gonna pop right off. All right. So now we need to take off this gray thing on the bottom and the gray thing on the top. So that's where a tack comes in handy. So um, we're just going to put it right the sorry um the top one just snaps off in the front like that. And then you're going to need to have you're gonna need to find it in the middle somewhere. I have my marks so I can see. And they should just snap off. Where is it? Alright, so now that side's off. And you're just going to do the same thing to the si other side. Alright, now that's off. Now there's also a, another pin under this pad. You can either take the pad off and do it that way. Or you can just kind of pull it up. I'm going to take the pad off. Snap it right off. Just like that. And just put the pad back in. Okay, so we've got the top one off, and now to take the bottom one off. This one, it's the same thing. You just gotta find the spots. There's solid ones, and there's, um, like, there's solid holes. And that kind of represents where you should be putting the tack. Also, as you can see, there's spots on the gray pieces where you should put them all as well. And then this one just snaps off. Okay, so now we're going to move on to where we use the um, the flathead and also the tack. So the flathead part, it's easy. You're just going to push up, pry. And there's also a warranty sticker usually right here. Um, as you can see, I've taken mine off by accident. It kind of just worn off. And um, you're just going to do that. And then there's also one right here. Alright, so we got this part off, and we're just going to go on to the back here. Now, first off, you're going to want to put your thumb and your hand just like this, kind of prying apart. And then you're going to put tack in these five places. One, two, three, four, five. And there's one on the bottom, one and two. Now, as also, when you are taking it apart or putting pushing the pins in, you will hear click. Just like that. That's that side. Now this side you might have a little bit of problem prying apart, but sometimes I do and I don't. So now we're taking off the casing off, off the bottom and we're revealing the metal casing. Or the chassis you can say. Now this is where your 8-bit Torx drive is going to come in handy. You're going to unscrew the screws where I point. Okay, now you're just going to unscrew the screws. Shouldn't take that long. Um, you don't have to unscrew them all the way. I kind of have mine a tad bit tight, but you don't have to. Um, we're just going to unscrew them. They shouldn't exactly be too tight, but I kind when I was putting this back together, it kind of made it a tad bit tight. Alright, now we just take them out. If you didn't unscrew them all the way, just unscrew the rest with your fingers. Alright, so we have all the screws out and we're um, ready to flip it over and take it the top casing off. Alright, so first thing, before we take the top casing off, I forgot about this. We're going to take the eject button off. You can just take your flat head, kind of pry it off. It's not that hard. And we just lift. As you can see, I've taken, I've cleaned out um, my Xbox before, so I've taken off the metal casing apart from um, the plastic. 
So now what we have here is we have the exhaust fans, the heat sink, and the drive. So as you can see, there's usually a warranty label here on the drive. This is what spins the disc right here. It's also a magnet. We're going to be taking the magnet off to prepare it for the hot swap. So you're just going to lift it up and unplug it. Sometimes it's a tad bit hard to unplug it. There we go. All right, so now we're just going to push the Xbox to the side, and we're going to be working with the DVD drive. First off, flip it over. This is where your Phillips comes in handy. Unscrew these four screws. Also, you might just want to um, take all the screws and put them in a little plastic container so you don't lose any but uh, I don't need to do that because I do not lose anything um, so now you're just going to lift the bottom off it should be pretty easy sometimes it's a bit complicated alright so this is the bottom of the DVD drive as you can see um, this is the eye of it It's you'll see more of it when we flip it over alright so we flip it over and we just lift the top part right off and there we go. Alright, so this is the DVD drive all taken apart, but as you can see, the magnet is still on there. So you're just going to hold the bottom black piece, and you're going to take the top piece, and you're just going to twist. Now you can see that it comes right off, and there's a magnet right here. So that's what picks up the disc, basically. And we're just going to put it back together, and onto the DVD drive. Alright, so now we're basically ready to hot swap. All you have to do is plug the DVD drive back in. And as you can see, also, you might want to put the bottom of the Xbox back on so that we can put the hard drive back in if you don't want to take the hard drive apart. So we're just going to, I think I have this on wrong. This is the top. Okay. All right, yeah. I kind of just separated the metal from the plastic. All right, yeah. Okay, also, um... If you want to, you can take this part off so it's easier to press the button. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Sorry about that. Alright, but anyways, as you can see, I have complete access to the button, and this isn't preventing me from doing anything. So, we're now ready to, to hot swap and everything like that, so uh, I'll see you guys in a few minutes.